Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to prepare for the MS certification exam at home through Pearson View. So we will be discussing how to prepare for the exam, how to prepare the room, how to test your machines in case of uh, any cancellation due to the technical error or technical any of the technical reason, how you can claim the how, how to get the voucher. All those details we will be covering on this video. I have already created a few videos related to Azure exam, how to get free voucher for the Azure fundamental exams, how to schedule the exam. So all these details I have already created a video. If you have not watched, I shall give the link in the description. Please do watch and then we will you will uh, come to this video so you may get more ideas. So without any further delay, let us get into the video. According to the occurrence, we will be checking each and everything in this video. So we will be checking step by step. Each step we will be checking it out in detail. So this is a mail I have already received while I have scheduled an exam last month. So post scheduling the exam on Pearson View site, you will be receiving a mail from the Microsoft in the registered email ID saying that uh, on this particular day, the exam is confirmed. And within 48 hours before the exam, 48 hours, you'll be receiving a reminder mail from the Microsoft. This is actually a reminder mail I have received from Microsoft saying after uh, on this particular day, you have exam and uh, be ready for the exam. So, uh, so <clears throat> this uh, reminder mail, they will be saying test your system, check to check in to start the exam. On that day, you will have to click on this check in to start exam and start, you will be uh, I think the exam on that day. So first thing first, we'll check test your system. So I'm clicking on test your system that will land on this page where uh, first you have to get the access code. This is the access code for the exam and it is a unique access code for the entire exam. This access code is be, will be used. So copy the access code, download the peers and view application and run the on view. So I have already downloaded it and once and right click and run it so once you run it it will land on this page this is the application view the code is automatically taken from the application itself we click on next so it is loading yeah so it will first thing to check your microphone so start microphone check click on that you will have to speak few words so to check it out so uh, it is checking your uh, so microphone yeah it is fine next uh, the speaker it will be giving a voice in your uh, uh, it will be providing a audio audio sample you will have to check that if you are able to hear it just uh, click on yes can you hear the music playing yes i'm able to hear it so speaker is fine next to your webcam you will have to check your webcam will be taking your video and checking it out so even webcam is fine so click on next next your network connection so checking your network to ensure it meets the requirement to take an exam so uh, it is checking your network connection whether you have enough strength enough stake signals to write this exam so it may take a few seconds it may take up to two minutes according to your speed of your uh, machine and the network connection so it is checking it out 75 75 percentage is over yeah network connection is fine click on next you your exam is ready click on next button to continue next simulation secure it will be giving you a simulation of your exam just test it out so it may take a few minutes in between uh, it you will be receiving a <clears throat> message in your registered mobile number to download the on view application on your mobile uh, there are multiple ways to download that application you may get a, this will be showing a code over here you can scan it and download it in the next next stage uh, other ways you can download from the link which uh, which you get as a message whatever way you download that application you will have to download that application and keep in your phone and open that application the first thing it will ask you to provide your identity identity card whatever it may accept uh, all the government identity card like driving license your passport all the details details are accepted there post giving your identity details 
uh, the second thing is your room photos your room pics you will have to provide four side view your front view back view and the left hand side right hand side pictures you allow to upload in that application so you make sure you uh, choose a closed room if you are selecting an open you you should not uh, select an open room for open room for the exam uh, in 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 any case while writing the exam if somebody is passing on that room uh, the examiner may ask you to stop the exam then and there so make sure you have uh, chosen an closed room and there should not be any interruption while writing the exam if any interruption if you are look even if your eyesight is uh, moving to somewhere else you are looking to some something else some other object during the exam examiner may ask you to stop the exam so he will be continuously watching during the exam uh, through the webcam webcam will be open and uh, you can see in a side uh, uh, your face itself i mean your uh, selfie will be will be visible there and the examiner will be keep on watching your eyes whether it is moving to some other object outside the laptop anyway and the next thing uh, if any desk skype or teams if it is available on your machine if it is installed on your laptop or in your desktop then exam will uh, exam will not start the examiner will not there is a testing mechanism for this application on the application will be in the background it will be checking it out any of the uh, any desk or skype any of these applications are available in your laptop so if, if any desk is there please remove it skype if the skype remove it teams it is okay uh, you will not have to uninstall teams but you should make sure this teams application is not running in the background you have to go to task manager if some of the processes related to teams is running in the background just close it and start writing the exam that's it once or if all these details are ready then exam will uh, will schedule the exam will open the exam for you you can start uh, writing the exam it is 120 minutes uh, exam you will require 700 marks out of 1000 uh, that means 70 70 percentage mark is required to pass the exam that's it all the very best for your exams do prepare um, and write the exam thanks for watching this video if you like it please do subscribe and share it to your friends We'll meet you in another video. Bye.